What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. And smash the like button and share the video, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It helps the channel. Hey, look here, y'all. I got some more news about Subriel Matias. Well, it appears that he's not fighting Liam Parra. And from what I read, and my understanding is, is that Liam Parra and him agreed to the fight at first, but then disagreed because of the price that they were uh, of how of what they're gonna get paid. I don't know what the details are on that, but this is what I figure. And y'all can say what y'all want, but uh if you're gonna fight, if they're gonna fight somebody dangerous like Matias, excuse me, they have to have good compensation. You know why? Just in case Matias knock dude teeth out, they gotta be able to afford that thirty thousand dollars to put them fake teeth in there. You know what I'm saying? You know, because maybe they all need to be taken out after that, or. Maybe he might cause a little brain damage up in there. They got to be able to pay for them doctors. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know? So what they do is maybe they are pricing themselves. But the good news is, is that there is a possible, I'm not saying it's concrete, but a possible another opponent named Elvis Rodriguez. I almost said Elvis Presley. <laughs> But uh, Elvis Rodriguez Now I just finished taking a look at Elvis Rodriguez And I'm gonna tell y'all the truth Elvis Rodriguez is Dominicano You know what I'm saying If y'all know the history between Dominicans and Puerto Ricans You will know that that would make a very good fight And the fact that Elvis Rodriguez can fight me And in my opinion Elvis Rodriguez would be the toughest opponent that Matias has, has you know, has, has um, fought to this day. If, if they fight, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you what I think about what I've seen about Elvis Rodriguez. He has movement. He uses lateral movement. He's a southpaw. He has a really good right hook. I do have my issues with him. But he has an arsenal of punches, B. You know what I'm saying? Dude got uppercuts, overhands, right hooks, left hooks. He got a straight, he got a straight right that's I mean a straight left that's killer, bro. Along with his left with it with his right hook. Dude, let me tell you, dude is a problem, B. He would be a problem for Matias. Now here's what I don't like about Elvis. Um, he pulls straight back. You know what I'm saying? And he does take hits that I think if Matias catches him with, woof, it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? But he's not easy to hit, you know? Even though he does get hit, he uses distance well. At one time, I thought that his head was in front of his foot, you know, when they, when they get in their stance, but that's not the case. He sticks that front foot out there and he works off of it. He works off his back foot, but he uses that front foot well. You know what I'm saying? He gets it on the outside of the other person's foot. You know what I'm saying? To get that leverage off the left hand, off that left punch. He's a very good fighter, y'all. Even though he lost one fight, he pulled off four straight fights in a row. I mean, four straight wins in a row. And another good thing that he got on his side, he has Freddie Roach, y'all. Freddie Roach is a good trainer. trainer. He has trained world champions with Manny Pacquiao being one of them. Now, is this, is this fight going to happen? We don't know. Will Elvis want to fight Matias? We don't know. All I got to say is Rodriguez and Matias is a good fight. And it's a tough fight for Matias because this guy, Elvis Rodriguez, look here, he can fight y'all. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all haven't seen him, take a look at him and tell me what y'all think in the comment section. OMB signing out. Peace.